Very briefly, in a previous video, I talked about this very thing, but in this video, we're gonna go more in depth with the topic. And that is the wall of taste. Now, this is very important for you to understand as a gamer, as a human being, and that is that there is a wall that is nearly impenetrable, and you need to understand it so that you can value it. The wall is the wall of your taste. This is something you need to find for yourself I can't find it for you, so all I can do is give you examples. If you were to picture success, proficiency, fun, enjoyment as objects, picture those things as objects. Before you can get to those objects, success, proficiency, enjoyment, fun, whatever, before you get to them, you have to get over a certain wall. And if that wall cannot be climbed, well, there's a really good reason for that. Now, I am a firm believer that some things are objectively good and objectively bad. But for the most part, in our day-to-day -day lives with the things we love and the things we hate, it's very subjective and very personal. So let's talk about Battlefield 1 here. Battlefield 1 is not a bad game or an evil game. It's just not a game that I like. I don't like the way it feels, looks, or sounds. I don't like much about it at all. I'm not getting into a rant about Battlefield 1 in this video, but just know that I don't like its gunplay. I don't I don't like the way it looks and feels and plays, okay? And most of that is not because of objective fact, but it's because of my taste. And my taste has been molded over years of playing games, watching movies, listening to music, listening to people, talking to people, making friends, losing friends, tragedy and success. My tastes have been formed by the world around me and I have to understand them and value them. A lot of us don't think critically about the way that we feel. This creates emotional immaturity and an overall vagueness when we're asked to describe how we think or feel to other people. You don't need to have a perfectly well-written 100-page essay about something for you to be taken seriously about it, but most people can't even come up with a simple example about something they don't like or do like about something. They, they, they really don't know. They, they like it or they don't like it and they can't, they can't figure out why. Maybe you like something because it makes you feel included. Maybe you don't like something because it makes you feel included. Maybe you like something because the, the aesthetic of it. We're talking about video games here. Maybe the aesthetic of a video game reminds you of something from your childhood or something you're a huge fan of, something else you're a huge fan of. This is why we obviously gravitate towards things done by the same companies or the same writers. Like, like people love Ubisoft games because there's a trace of Ubisoftness in every Ubisoft game. And that's why people love Tessnu Numora. I probably butchered his name, but he's the guy that did Kingdom Hearts and Final Fantasy. And the reason I like Final Fantasy XV is because it strikes all of the same things I loved about Kingdom Hearts, which is a franchise that has characters that are very near and dear to my heart. Objective facts or anything don't matter at that point. My taste wall has crumbled. Enjoyment, fun, proficiency, game time, game sense, everything that goes into getting better at, enjoying, loving, cherishing a game is now available to me because that taste wall is down. If you play a game a lot and you don't realize why you hate it and you can't put your finger on it, I'm sorry, it's because you haven't thought about it long enough. Once you understand your tastes, what color schemes you like, what kind of gunplay you like in your first person shooters, how you like cars to feel when it comes to driving games, what kind of JRPG do you enjoy playing? Once you can find it and put it to words, it's like a goddamn superpower. Everybody in life is aiming for something with almost every moment. You're aiming for something. When you watch a TV show, what are you aiming for? Are you aiming to enjoy the TV show? That sounds stupid, but you are. You're aiming to relax, you're aiming to uh, show somebody the show or, or express your feelings about the show to someone else. When you sit down to play a game with your friends, you're aiming to enjoy time with your friends. Once you can figure out why you're aiming there, what you're aiming at specifically, once you figure that out, happiness, enjoyment, is, is it's right there in front of you. You know what to aim for. You won't give vague answers when someone asks you why you like something or don't like something. The understanding and respect you have to have for your own tastes, what you like and what you dislike, is so very important. This will help you find better partners. This will help you find friends, jobs, 
video games, movies, whatever it is, you can find it so much easier once you respect yourself enough to value understanding your tastes. You don't value your tastes over other people's tastes, but you have to value the understanding of your own. And don't feel pressured by other people, because it's very easy to be now, and I felt this recently. Don't be pressured by other people as to what your tastes should be or shouldn't be. If you like easy Twitch arcade shooters that have low recoil, easy to use weapons, and you just like to hop on in the evening and, and pub stomp people and get off, well, you can get into the psychology. You have to ask yourself, I can't help you figure this out, but you can dig into your own brain and figure out why you like the way certain things feel or look or sound. Once you have that down, you know what you're aiming at. So this video is an urgent message to people that are desperately trying to enjoy games or are desperately trying to figure out why they enjoy something. It takes a while. I haven't figured it out yet fully and you're gonna change over time. But if that taste wall does not come down, if you cannot get into something, you can't get proficient at it, you can't get good at it, you can't enjoy it, you can't have fun in it, your friends don't like playing with you because you're a butt when you do, that taste wall is in the way. Now, one last example before I end this video, Rainbow Six Siege was a game I thought I just wasn't ever going to be into. I thought I hated Rainbow Six Siege and its fundamental game design. It's not the case at all. What I figured out is that I didn't know anything about the game. Once I started watching people play it at a higher level, once I started watching people have fun with it, I realized I wasn't even playing it right. I realized there was more to the game than I first thought, so I was wrong. It was actually a case where I didn't like something because I was bad at it, and I was bad at it due to a lack of understanding. But with Battlefield 1, the gameplay you're seeing here, this is just a game I have no feeling for. I don't like it as a game. It doesn't scratch that subconscious, this is very important, the subconscious primal thing in my brain that says this is to your liking. The aesthetic, the sound, the feeling, the feeling of success, the feeling of failure. Failure does not put me off from games. The game itself, if it does not agree with my tastes, that's it. It's over. So, to finalize the video, if you want to enjoy something, you want to get proficient at it, and that seems out of reach, and you always leave that video game just feeling frustrated or angry, maybe it doesn't agree with your tastes. Maybe there's something fundamentally about it that is just never going to agree with you, or at least won't agree with you for a long period of time until maybe you're ready for it later. Or maybe you need to research it, look into it a little bit more, watch videos about it, get involved with its community, and then maybe you'll see something you didn't see before. Or it will go further to convince you that it's not your kind of game. The understanding of oneself is the first step to emotional maturity. I'm not even going to pretend to be there yet. I'm just letting you guys know what I've found out, what I've learned. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you like this style of content and you like this commentary, please leave me a like and share it with your friends. That's all I can ask for right now, and I will see you when I see you. Goodbye. Flash her again. Flash her again. No! Got her. No. Put all five flashes into her. No. Why? Why though? Because Why look at you. Though? I'm not gonna just like stand there and be like, I hope he's got it. <laughs>